have to memorize quite so many facts. That trick is called the commutative property, or turnaround facts. Now I have an array here that matches this multiplication problem. This problem is 5 times 7. I've shown you a trick before where this is telling you there are 5 groups, and each group has 7 inside of it. And so here I have 5 groups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I have to count by 7s. Now here's the problem. I don't know how to count by 7s. So what you can do is you can do the turnaround fact, or the commutative property. I have the exact same array here. This is still 5 by 7. But we saw with arrays how you could take it and twist it, so now you have a slightly different array. This array now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 groups. You can even circle it so we remember there are 7 groups. And within each group, there are now one, two, three, four, five pieces. Now the reason that this is better is because I can count by fives. I feel comfortable with that. This is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So while it was hard for me to count by five groups of seven, it's easy for me to count by seven groups of five. Notice I have the same numbers and the same end product of 35 but what I did was I turned my fact around. I did the commutative property. Let's try another example. Here I have 3 times 8. And I know using my strategies that this is 3 groups with 8 in each one. Well, I'm not very good about counting by 8s. And even, only have to, even though I only have to count 3 groups of those 8s, that would still be challenging for me. I can try doing my turnaround facts and turn those two digits around and make them switch places. So now I have 8 times 3. What this is saying is I have 8 groups, but I only have to count by 3's. I can count by 3's. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, so on and so forth. Now let's say it's written like this, as a missing number. I'm going to show you another strategy. I notice that this is an equal sign, and with an equal sign, that means that each side has to be worth the same amount. I'm going to clear some of this off so you can see what I'm showing you. When I think of an equal sign, I think of it being like a teeter-totter, where both sides have to balance. So here is my teeter-totter point. That means this side must be the same as this side. To help me see what both sides have in common, I can see that they both are talking about groups with 3. The only thing that's missing to balance would be my 8. So I now know, because of the turnaround fact, that 3 times 8 is the same thing as 8 times 3. Let's try that same trick down here. I know that we're talking about turnaround facts, and I just have to figure out what is my missing number. On both of these, I talk about five groups. On this one, though, I know that it would be six in each group of five. Here, I don't know what that number is, so all I have to do is fix my missing numbers. What I want you to do right now is solve this problem. If I have seven times three, how can you use your knowledge of equations and turnaround facts to figure out what 3 times blank is. Did you figure out what the missing number was? What did you do first? If you said you started by thinking of it like a balance beam, that would be what I would do. My equal sign is like my teeter-totter point. I'm trying to make each side the same. I know that it doesn't matter if the 3 comes first or the 3 comes second. We learned in this problem here with turnaround facts that it doesn't matter the order that they go. The 5 could come first or the 7. It ends up being the same thing because I've literally just turned the picture around. So here I have the 3 second, but here I have the 3 first. What matters is that they're balanced so far. They both have it on the each side. So what was missing from this side? If you said the 7 was missing, that would be correct. Now that I've filled in the missing 7, I can see that both sides are equal. It doesn't matter if it's 7 groups of 3 or 3 groups of 7. It's going to equal the same thing because of that turnaround property. Go ahead and move on to the next activity in your Learning Center.